SpaceX has made a name for itself in space travel, but the company is also behind a new type of ground transportation. For the past four years, company founder Elon Musk has held an annual worldwide competition to design an incredibly fast vehicle that can whisk through a vacuum tube. A partially evacuated tube that carries um, frictionless vehicles along in, inside the tube at about 700 plus miles an hour. Vic Parthaban is captain of the Hyperloop team here at MIT. <laughs> Using this deserted office space, they built a test track and pod they hope wins the competition in California this summer. 2,000 plus teams actually apply for this competition and only about 20 teams get selected to compete at the Hyperloop International Finals. The 40-member team has created this prototype. Under the carbon fiber shell is an amazing amount of technology. Wires, controllers, onboard navigation systems, and three different types of battery systems. This current prototype is trying to hit 200 miles an hour in this, in this vacuum tunnel. To do that, 260 high-voltage batteries will deliver an instant jolt of 80 kilowatts of power in just 20 seconds. Dump all the current into 20 seconds of our system to take it from zero to 200 miles an hour in about 20 seconds. While the wheels deliver the power, what makes this Hyperloop pod unique is that it rides on a 10 millimeter cushion of air, like a game of air hockey. The 400 pound vehicle can be moved with a fingertip. Going fast may be fun, but stopping something moving 200 miles an hour is essential. Sion Liu is working on the braking system. We do have to put a lot of thought into to make sure it's safe and it's stable, it's robust, we can trust it, and we want SpaceX to know it, know it as well. If the brakes fail, this pod could shoot out the tube like a cannonball. This vehicle is designed to stop a 180 kilogram pod in about 250 meters in about five seconds. That's zero to 200 miles per hour in 20 seconds and able to stop in less than half a block. This is only a test pod. The eventual goal is to reach 700 miles per hour. Putting together this, the background of EE and mechanical engineering and aerospace engineering has been a, just an intellectually like a, um, amazing experience. 